Hello there, Sarah from Seventeen once again, introducing you to my Modern Warfare 3 Veteran Difficulty video walkthrough. This is the final section to Down the Rabbit Hole in Act 3, and we are one mission away from the end of the game. So if you're not enjoying the experience or you're wanting Veteran to be over, you are ever so close to getting your precious achievements and uh, beating another Call of Duty. So I move up onto this second floor of this, this like container office building thing and then I like to snipe people from here. You're at a really good vantage point and as soon as you get the opportunity to move forward and rush into the building that opens up, you want to do it. You will get shot a little bit and sometimes it feels like you're out in the open and people are going to murder you but for some reason you just seem to survive. You don't seem to have any problem running forward. And in previous Call of Duties, that might have been an area that you would have got your shit pushed in. But on this one, you, you had a healthy diet of fibre, and you just don't seem to run into those moments anymore. But we've got a breach sequence coming up. I can't remember if it's a challenging one, but I don't think it is. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's just the girl, so it's definitely not a challenging one, unless you're a, a friendly fire killer, and you want to take her out. But you'll probably fail, so resist the urge to shoot the bitch in the mouth, and uh, carry on your game. But a lot of people have been mentioning that this game is too fast, that this game is so much faster than Modern Warfare 2. It makes me wonder if people have even seen Modern Warfare 2, because I watched some gameplay last night and I pretty much confirmed my theory. This game is not faster than Modern Warfare 2, if anything, it's slower. The movement speed when you have an assault rifle seems to be a lot slower than it was on the other one. And just the fluidity of things, this this game isn't as fast, it just seems fast, because everybody's running around with SMGs because it's just come out. But you use an assault rifle and you use a light machine gun and the game's as, as slow as anything. I think that as soon as people start to learn the maps, that's the big thing. The maps are designed in such a way that they make the games a little bit faster than they normally would be because they're so filled with shit. There's crap everywhere. And people... There's, there's two kinds of people playing at the moment. There's the crazy guys running around with, like idiots with UMPs. And there's the people that are sit, sitting clipping behind boxes. And there's generally no middle ground. It just seems to be those two kind of players. and uh, Oh, and the quick scopers that you run into every so often. They're an absolute fucking nuisance. Everybody else is, is just learning it. And there's, there's a few people you'll run into that are higher levels, but I don't think this game is, is faster than, than the older ones. It's definitely faster than Black Ops, but that's because you kill so quickly. But I think as soon as everybody's used to it, they'll realise it's not that fast, it's just the way people are playing right now. I reckon the game's going to slow down a hell of a lot once people learn where to camp and learn how to play like a bitch. Because I've already seen people trying to noob tube, and it doesn't work, but it, it doesn't not work either. It's still a strategy, and there's still people trying it. Which I just don't understand. What's the point in playing a game that can be this precise if you're just going to fucking noob tube? That's, that's what I've never understood. How is it fun? I don't get it. In fact, there's, there's somebody that subscribes to me who who puts up free-for-all games of himself using nothing but the noob tube. And I'm not knocking you, dude, if that's what you want to do. I just, I don't see an audience for that because when I watch it, all I think is, you're playing like a bitch. And I don't like that kind of gameplay. I don't like people that do it. I don't like people that, that celebrate that way of playing. To me, that is everything that's wrong with the game. And uh, yes, some people fucking love it, which is why they do it. And I just don't get it. Don't get it at all. But this is an interesting section here because you're going to have to breach into this room from the roof. And apparently a friend of mine had trouble with this, but I've never failed it. So fingers crossed your guys will have my luck and you'll be able to do this first time. But you've got to be careful because the president is the hostage and if you shoot him, you will fail. But as I've mentioned, I've never had a trouble with this. So just pick your shots. One bullet will kill them. You don't have to be fancy. You don't have to hold the trigger. Sometimes you need more than one bullet, my bad, that guy didn't die, but that's pretty much how you do it. And then this is when things get kind of interesting. So we're going to try now to exfiltrate the, pre the president. We're going to go to the top of the balcony that we just came up, and the, the way we came in is now going to be bombarded by a ton of guys. There is a lot of enemies here. It's an unlimited spawn, there's a bunch of them, and there is an, a, a mounted gun there that you can use, but... You're very vulnerable on them, so I would definitely say just use your normal guns. Use your noob tubes if you've got them, because you start with enough of the buggers. And uh, just be aware of your surroundings. Find a good piece of cover, keep moving, 
and just pick off as many guys as you can because this is for all intents and purposes this is just survive for a set period of time until the game goes into all you know cinematic mode and then you've pretty much done the level but you can die very fast on this area if you get too you know lackadaisical if you don't concentrate and you don't keep on top of the enemies and uh, I don't know if they can shoot the president and kill him I would say yes because he's got a protect symbol on him but Again, it's one of those areas that I never had any trouble with, so I couldn't tell you for 100% for certainty. Just, just do what you've been doing for the most of the game, you know. Being like a boss, killing dudes with, with vicious efficiency and just trying, trying to beat the, the monster that is veteran. Because Call of Duty definitely has a reputation for making hard campaigns. This is not one of them. Uh, that grenade right there is always set to do this. For some reason, I fell inside my own body right there, so there's obviously something going wrong. But you're going to get picked up by Price, and he's going to drag you backwards. And this entire section, you can't die. All that's going to happen is you get an M4, and you're going to be slow motion shooting dudes that are running towards you, and it's going to get all nice and slow mo. But this is just a cutscene. This is a cutscene that you control. That is it. It's. I'd like to say it's added, you know, a really nice, interesting new gameplay mechanic, but it really hasn't. Because you're moving, your aim goes everywhere, so you can't precisely shoot people. The music does sound really good, and this moment is kind of pinnacle to, to, some, to some of the moments in the game. I guess it's slightly more emotional, but for a company that kept saying that this is, you know, an emotional campaign, you're going to get these emotional bonds with, with all the characters, it was a, a little lacking for me. I didn't feel anything for anybody. I just kind of pointed my red dot at people and watched them fall over dramatically. That was, you know, my game done. But there is no skill to this. There is nothing to be told. You've effectively beaten the level. And I will see you people in the final one. In the climax to Modern Warfare 3. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for everything. You're the reason why I do this. And you take care now.